Queen and Prince Philip holiday. Princess Anne may be only royal to see Queen at Balmoral. The Queen and Prince Philip are expected to travel to Balmoral this weekend. Their daughter, Princess Anne, may be the only royal to get to visit her parents at Balmoral this summer for one simple reason. Queen Elizabeth II, 94, and Prince Philip, 99, have been isolating at Windsor Castle since March, but will travel to Balmoral in early August. Buckingham Palace was, has confirmed. The royal couple usually receive visits from royal family members throughout their summer break in Aberdeenshire, but the pandemic is likely to have halted this traditional for now. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh are both in their 90s and at high risk of COVID-19. This means the couple will take extra care with how they begin to socialize again. They are expected to travel to Balmoral by helicopter, accompanied by a small essential team of staff who have been isolating with the couple throughout the pandemic. The Queen is said to be most at home when at Balmoral, where she can truly relax away from the royal bubble. The Queen is usually based at Balmoral from late July until autumn and traditionally receives a visit from the British Prime Minister there every autumn. While Buckingham Palace will not comment on whether the Queen and Philip will host guests this year, a royal expert has hinted their daughter, Princess Anne, could visit. Princess Anne will celebrate her 80th birthday on August 15, and ahead of the milestone, royal watchers have taken a look back at her extraordinary decades of service to royal family. An ITV documentary about the Princess Royal in her 70th year at this week and charted some of her exceptional achievements as well as her broad number of interests. While Anne remains extremely busy with royal duty and supports more than 300 charities, she enjoys sports in her free time. Anne is a keen sailor, a passion is said to have inherited from her father Prince Philip. Royal expert Camilla Tomini writes in the Telegraph, If the Queen instilled in Anne a love of horses, then it was her father who encouraged her other great passion in life, sailing. Anne would regularly accompany the former Royal Navy commander to Coe's Week, and it is a testament to Philip's infectious love for seafaring that Anne and Tim have kept their yard Balog Bu on Log, a grain niche in Argyll since 2012. She added, the couple enjoy nothing more than cruising around the inner Herbrides, where Anne indulges her passion for visiting lighthouses. She is patron of the Northern Lighthouses Board and is understood to have backed more than half of the UK's 206. Anne and her husband, Tim Lawrence, are expected to head out on their Scottish sailing trip this year, a holiday which they may well tie in with a visit to the Queen. Ms. Tomini added, with the Queen having been self-isolating at Windsor Castle since March, it is thought Anne will be reunited with her parents at Balmoral this summer, where she and Tim will once again take in Scotland's sights by sea. The Queen and Prince Philip are both huge fans of the outdoors and enjoy long dog walks in the highlands and picnics while based at Balmoral. Speaking in a documentary ahead of her grandmother's 90th birthday, Princess Eugenie touched on what the royal family get up to at Balmoral. Eugenie said, walks, picnics, dogs, a lot of dogs. There's always dogs and people coming in and out all the time. It's a lovely base for Granny and Grandpa for us to come and see them up there, where you just have room to breathe and sun.